Hey, we are going to talk today about why cross products work. Okay, they're a handy little trick. What are cross products? That's when you have two fractions, you're trying to decide or determine if they are proportional. You go from the denominator to the other numerator, multiply it, do the same on the other side. If the number is the same, it's proportional. Okay, if it's not the same, it's not. Really cool trick, but why does that work? Let's, we're going to take a look right now and see why that works. Okay, so if I were to do cross products on this, right, I'd get three times two gives me six. Six times one gives me six. They'd be the same. So I'd say, yes, they are proportional. But let's see why. Okay. So another way I could see if these were proportional would be to get their denominators the same, right? If I get their denominators the same and the numerator is the same, they're the same fraction. So they're proportional, right? So normally if I were to get the denominators the same to compare these, I would just multiply this side by two over two so that both the denominators were six, right? That would be the most efficient way to do it. But in order to show why cross products work, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Okay. So I know that six times three gives me 18, right? So I know both of these numbers go into 18. So I'm going to try to get both of these fractions to have a denominator of 18. Okay. So in order to get six to be 18, I need to multiply it by three. Okay. But I can't just multiply by three. I need to multiply by three over three because three over three is just one. So I'm really multiplying by one. I'm changing what the fraction looks like, but I'm not changing its actual value. Okay. So that six times three gives me the 18. Two times three gives me six. Why did I start on that side? I don't know. I just did. Okay. Now to get this one to be 18, I'm going to multiply it by six. See, we're multiplying them by each other. Okay. But I got to multiply by six over six because that's just one. Okay. So six times three gives me that 18. Six times one gives me that six. Okay. Now that their denominators are the same, their numerators are the same. So I can see that, yes, these are proportional. So basically when we are doing cross products, we are just doing this top part here. Okay. That's what we're doing. We're doing the three times the two, the six times the one. We're just, the, the denominator is there. We're just kind of ignoring it, <laughs> which is kind of nice, right? We're kind of taking fractions out of it. So that is why cross products work. You're just looking at the numerator because if the numerators are the same, they're going to be proportional. If it's not, they're not. Okay, hopefully that made sense. That's why we can use cross products.